night I was dreaming, dreaming of your charms. I dreamed I was standing on the edge of love, darling, you in my arms. You whispered sweet things and told me that you loved me and always would be true. And you would stand on the edge of love with me if I'd stand with you. That's why I'm standing on the edge of love. Just about to slip and fall. Standing on the edge of love, darling, wait on your call. But if you come over here and stand with me, I won't wonder no more. Oh, I promise I'll stop all of our gambling. Stop staying out late all night. We don't even settle down and house babies. Even treat our surprise. song standing on the edge of love believe me <laughs> that's great that's a new tune we just finished doing in the soundtrack of uh the new movie paul newman movie uh dirty money oh that's the one that's a sequel to the hustler is that it? Uh, i guess so. i think it is that's true now how is lovely lucille Lucille's she's one? beautiful she is good sound pretty good to me she sounded great yeah. you, should, you should tell lucille lucille is your guitar she likes you she does. Yes. She's, 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 crazy she's very attractive. Nice shape, too. That's Thank what you. I... I like that kind Thank of look you, in a woman. She was talking yeah. about you before I came out. <laughs> now this, and you got a birthday coming up, right? Yes, on the 16th of this month, 61. 61! <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, they rarely print men's ages. Men are very reluctant to talk about well, how old they are. I wouldn't have told you, but you was talking about your mother knew about some of us, and I figured that oh, yeah. I'd let her know, you know, so oh, she yeah. could My tell you the next time. <laughs> now, so you just came from, you're in Japan. Yes, we just left Japan about two and a half weeks now, ago. Now, is that strange? I mean, that doesn't seem like blue. Well, I guess they go, they go nuts for everything American, I suppose, but I... Domo arigato gozaimasu. I have no idea. Now you sound like Michelle. <laughs> now you sound like Michelle I said, again. Thank I have no you idea very what you much. did. Now you speak. Now this. Now did you sing in Japanese? Uh, no, you know no, no. I just tried to use one word uh, to try and remember uh, to say thank you to everybody in each country that we visit. Right. I really try to say thank you. Now how about the food in Japan? Is that? Uh, food. Uh, I ate a little sushi. Ate a real little sushi. Uh, just a <laughs> yeah, 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 just uh, real little. Su is it good? Is I mean, uh, like yes, the food was good, and the people. Uh, well, one little story. If you've got a moment, I'd like I to tell you. I got plenty of time. Uh, some, <laughs> some years ago, when I first went over, I was a guest uh, for dinner for the uh, president of the uh, subsidiary label of the label that I'm with here in the U.S. Anyway, I was in Kyoto at this um, restaurant that was supposed to have been there about maybe a couple hundred years. It wasn't harmed during the war or anything. And you had to walk up about eight st uh, st stairways up, eight floors, I should say. And uh, it's real uh, traditional Japanese, so you leave your shoes down front. So all the guys was teasing me, and they said, uh, you don't have to worry about anybody taking your shoes, because your shoes look like air car aircraft carriers. <laughs> uh, pertains to everybody else. Anyway, when I get up, it's, like I say, real traditional Japanese, so you sit on bamboo. Right. It's not so easy for this to sit. You just sit on the floor, don't you? Know? you just, <laughs> isn't you just kind of sitting on the floor? Is that well, right? yeah, but you're kind of on your heels. And it's 260 pounds. Yeah, they don't want you yeah. to eat too much, I guess, probably. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the one thing that they did, they had this big container that they put many types of, uh, you know, meats in. Right. And even squid. They had... Uh, squid. Uh, yeah, squid. Uh, you like squid? No, you're more polite than I am. <laughs> <laughs> and then they had uh, uh, octopus and many other types of meat, and they put it all in there. Then they put... Uh, uh, snails in it. Snails? Yes. Boy, this is a real taste treat, isn't it? <laughs> this is just... Well, they later called it escargos, you know. Right. To me, it's still snails. It's still snails. I'm from no, the country. you're right, yeah. And when it was time to eat, I ate all around mine. I never did eat. So uh, the uh, tour manager sit next to me. He said, B, aren't you going to eat your escargos? I said, no. He said, well, if you don't eat yours, Mr. Yama's not going to eat his. And so they're his favorites. And I'd say, oh, man. <laughs> so I pretend to try to get the, this muscle out of the shell. And, but somehow I just could never get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah. So a, a beautiful young lady came over and taken it out, and I, then I had to eat it. I, I ate it. That would have been my last tour of Japan. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. <laughs> 